It's your boy Books, and I'm gonna be bringing you guys a layup tutorial for NBA 2K19 Mobile today. A lot of you guys have been requesting this, man. So let's not waste any time and grab a pen and paper and take some notes. Wait, what am I talking about, man? We're going into 2019, man. Get your iPad and your iPhone and let's go. <laughs> We're gonna be starting off with the basics, how to make a regular layup. So in order to make a normal layup, what you wanna do is while driving to the basket without sprinting, you wanna hold the shoot button and your player is gonna go for a regular layup. The key to performing a layup is not holding the left stick all the way up or your player is gonna sprint and you're most likely gonna do a dunk. You can also perform a regular layup using the right stick. And all you wanna do is while it's moving to the basket again, hold the right stick upwards and you perform a regular layup as well. Most people will wanna dunk either ways, but I just wanna show you guys how to do it. Next on the list, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to perform the Euro step layup. So in order to do the Euro step, what you wanna do is whilst driving to the basket without sprinting, what you wanna do is hold the right stick either to the left or to the right of your player, and you're gonna perform a Euro step layup. The key to this one, again, is to not hold the left stick all the way up. So you gotta do it without sprinting, but it's a really good move to get some separation off your defender and get to the rim, man. Next on the list, we're gonna be looking at how to do the floater or the runner. So in order to do a floater, what you want to do is while driving to the basket just hold the right stick downwards and your player is going to do a floater it's really simple and it's a really nice finish if you got a big man just waiting for you under the rim you can use it to avoid the block and get a nice soft touch next up we're going to be looking at how to perform the spin layup and this one is pretty simple as well. While driving to the basket, what you want to do is just rotate the right stick in a 360 degree angle, so in a circle. And you want to hold it till your player completes the spin animation and goes for the layup. So you can do it both ways. You can either spin the right stick in a clockwise direction, or you can spin the right stick in an anti-clockwise direction. It doesn't matter. Your player is still going to go for a spin layup. And it's a really nice move as well. Next up, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do the reverse layup or the jelly. So in order to perform the reverse layup or the jelly, what you want to do is while driving baseline, it only works when your player is going baseline, what you want to do is hold the right stick upwards and your player is going to go for the reverse layup. The key to this is not to sprint as well, so your player just has to be moving regularly. But I think you can do it while sprinting as well. If there's a defender near you and you hold the right stick upwards, your player is going to go for that reverse layup. And also sometimes your player is going to go into that jelly animation and it looks pretty sick, man. Another way to do the reverse layup while going baseline is you can double tap the shoot button so say for example you're driving baseline you can tap the shoot button once and in between the animation tap it again and your player is gonna go for kind of a reverse layup and switch the shot in midair and it looks pretty cool next on the list we're gonna be looking at how to perform the hop step layup and the shake and bake move the juicy part so in order to perform the hop step layup what you want to do is while driving to the rim you want to hold the right stick either to the bottom right or the bottom left and your player is gonna go for the hop step layup you can use it to change direction and just get a nice finish so now on to the most requested part the shake and bake you guys have been asking me so much how to do this move and i want to let you guys know that it's not anything special man it's really really simple to do this it's basically a hop step layup but before you can do the shake and bake your player needs to have the animation equipped or you basically need to be using jamal crawford because he's the one who invented the move but if you're not using jamal crawford what you want to do is buy and equip the layup package on your player and you can do this in my career so what you want to do is go to the upgrades and 2k store section and you want to go to the layup section in the store the animation for layups and when you scroll all the way down you're gonna see the Jamal Crawford layup and you can buy it and equip it but I already have it equipped man because I bought it a while back so once you do that you have the layup equipped so now if you want to do it in the game it's really really simple man the only thing is your player can only do the move if there's a defender in front of him so you cannot do it if you're wide open on a fast break there needs to be a defender near you or in front of you and all you need to do is just go for a half step layup so while driving to the rim just hold the right stick to the bottom right or the bottom left and your player's gonna go for the shake and bake and cross the defender up anyways it's been your boy books man i hope this tutorial helped you guys out if there's any layup i missed you guys should let me know in the comment section down below i'll be sure to check it out but i hope this video helped you guys out to be able to get some nasty finishes anyways it's been your boy books drop a like if you enjoyed the video subscribe if you're new i'll see you in the next one stay bookmarked Yakum. NBA 2K Mobile versus NBA 2K19 Mobile, which is the better game? Some of you guys probably didn't even know that these are two different games. So if you've been living under a rock, let me break it down for you.